how you all doing? Welcome to this Enlight app tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make yourself a really, um, a really cool logo. You know, for your YouTube picture, Twitter, social media type um, type things. Um, and it'll also be, um, it'll appear sort of 3D um, type of effect as well. So, um, so let's get over into Enlight and um, and do that. So. First and foremost, you're just going to need an image of some description. Um, I'm just going to use this this image here. What I would suggest is if you look at the platform that you want to place the logo on, be it Facebook, um, Twitter, YouTube, most of them have um, their own um, sort of size um, that, that a logo will be. So what I would suggest you try and do is try and get an image that is first, firstly around that size. You know, just a free. It doesn't matter. Just get any stock image off the um, off the internet, and because you're going to cover it completely anyway. So just try and get the the, the one correct size. So if um, say for instance YouTube logo is 50 by 50, um, try and get an image that's 50 by 50. Just Google search that. So it's really quite simple. So let's get on and um, and do this this image. So I'm just going to go to filters. By the way, if you want to just open this sidebar, you can click the little three bars at the top, or you can just tap on the screen, and it will um, it will show you the menu. And then I'm going to go filters and expand my filters, and then I'm going to go to duo. Then I'm going to go tools at the bottom, and then shape. Select radial. Now you can sort of have any shape. I'm just going to show you a radial. So you could have like a linear effect or a mirror effect. So it's it's sort of two different colours, but I'm just going to use radial um, because um, that's the background I want on my logo. And then I'm going to go back to tools. I'm going to select the first colour, which is the outer colour, and I'm going to have that as black. And then the second colour, I'm going to have as this um, this type of yellow type, yeah, this yellow type colour. I'm then going to go to um, blending and select normal, and you'll get this fill effect like so. Um, now I'm just going to feather the outer, um, the outer yellow around the outside. I'm just going to feather that a little bit more. So I'm going to pinch and squeeze, and this will expand the colour like so. But I'm just going to drag the colour down a little bit, and then with these outer anchors, these ones on the outside, I'm going to drag them out. So I'm just going to hold my finger on and drag them out, then pinch and squeeze till I get the desired effect, and I want this sort of feathered look this vignette feathered look on the background so I'm going to click OK on that so you can you could type flatten which is this um, little arrow on the right hand side like so and then that will just allow you to continue working in the same area that you're in you see so you could change the um, you could just work in the same area that you're already in or you can select this little tick up the top right hand side and this will take you back to the start um, sort of menu where you first uh, started off. Okay, so now we're going to close the filters down and we're going to add some text. Now I'm going to type, um, select type, and I'm going to lung press to edit. So just hold my finger on the screen, and then I'm going to type the um, the text that I want. I'm just going to use 13th design or 13 design, and then I'm going to click done. Don't worry too much about clicking done. You can still. I'm just pinching and squeezing. To expand the size now you notice if I um, one of the recent updates if I drag this to the center I'll have these crosshairs to show me that I'm on the center of the screen and then I'm gonna go tools um, and I'm gonna go spacing on the left hand side so first and foremost I'm gonna go characters now this will just um, expand the um, the each text each each character or close it up and I'm just gonna close this up a little bit and then I'm gonna go lines so I want my 13 closer to the design and I'm gonna drag that down so I do indeed get the 13 closer to the design and then I'm gonna go back to tools and then I'm gonna go fonts so then I'm just gonna select a font that I want to choose and there's lots of fonts that you could choose from um, unfortunately you can't add your own as yet but I'm sure that will come and I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna find a, a font that I think sort of looks minimalistic but professional and I think this one here next to the dotted line I will um, I will do a tutorial quite soon as we're as we're in this stage anyway I know to use these dots 
as um, as light bulbs it, it's a really good effect but I'll, that will come later so yeah I'm gonna choose this next one um, next to the these little dots right here I'm then gonna go to tools and I'm gonna go um, just drag the size up a little bit and drag it back to the center like so and I'm gonna go transform now I want it's up to you how you have it transformed but I think to get the best 3d effect if you choose this bottom right anchor point and drag it towards you and then the top one and drag it um, also sort of so you're getting the text coming your way like so and then we're just gonna drag this one back and this one back this bottom so this the, the text also all almost looks like it's on a side view we're quite happy with that and then we're gonna go to the um, to the shadow now with the opacity I'm gonna select opacity and I'm going to drag the opacity right up so there is no opacity on the shadow and you can actually see the shadow behind the text and then the offset if you look at the angle of the um, of the offset you want it to match your um, your text direction so it's pointless having the X offset um, having the X offset over here because that doesn't match your text direction so you need it over to the to the right hand side of the screen as you're looking at it and then the Y offset I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drag that that down a little bit which also drags it closer to the text then the blur radius I'm gonna drag the blur radius right up um, and that's us okay with the that's me done with the text so it is really about messing around with the um, with the the shadow um, to get it to the desired effect so I'm gonna move my text till I'm happy with the with the placement of it and then I'm going to go to the color of my text and I'm going to also to make that the same sort of yellow that I've used on the screen and then I'm gonna to go to blending and there's just to have a have a mess around really just just mess around with the blending modes to see which one you're happy with but I am actually gonna select this darken because that's the um, that's the blending mode that I want but you can mess around with any of the blending modes just to get it right but I'm going to use darken like I said and I'm going to drag the darken up to 100 I'm then going to go back to tools transform and just get my um, my text again so I'm, I'm a little bit happier with the way it sits not quite happy with the way it sits you know so this is quite a um, quite a challenging tutorial to do also so this I'm quite happy with the way my text is sat at the moment if you look it's um, it gives a nice 3d effect and if I click um, sorry if I if I um, if I pinch and squeeze I can zoom in or zoom out so I'm quite happy with the way my text is sat at the moment again you could try that with different fonts Let me just undo that and I'm just going to click the um, the little tick button up here to say that I'm I'm happy with that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to close down the um, the brushes. Sorry, the um, the text which is closed down, and I'm going to go to image. I'm going to go to adjust. I'm going to go to tools, basic, and then contrast. And I'm going to drag this contrast up the way like so. Like so until I get this desired effect likewise with the exposure I'm just gonna ramp up the exposure a little bit so it brightens it up you notice down here it is quite dark quite hard to see so it just brightens the effect up and then I'm gonna look at offset and this will brighten the um, whiten the brighter cut the brighter areas and then brightness again just mess around with the brightness till you get it to something you're happy with if you drag it down a little bit you get these sort of um, these omnidirectional little circles around the outside of the text as well so this is something that I'm happy with at the moment I'm gonna click the tick button press the um, just touch the screen and look at what we started off with to what we've now got I'm gonna save that out got that saved and then just have a quick look at that and you will see that that does indeed look like we've got a 3d text effect for an excellent logo on a really really good background I hope this tutorial 
Um, you, I hope you found it useful, and I hope you um, go forward and make your own awesome logo. So, thanks a lot for watching. I'll be back very soon with more tutorials. Catch you soon.